Well, it happened. It snowed. And the dogs are all feisty about it. Go get her. Or eat the snow, whatever you want to do, you know. Who am I to say? <sighs> I guess this means I'll have to hook up the snowblower. Yeah, I didn't have time to do that. You know, we had the extra nice month without snow, but I didn't have time. There's a car underneath there somewhere. You know, I really don't mind the snow so much. What I really don't like is the temperatures that we're about to get down to. There, you see that? That's Fahrenheit. And I know a lot of you live in places that get colder, and it does here too, but, but that's cold. That's just cold, any way you try to spin that. So, first thing that I'm gonna do, since we have colder temperatures now, which it's not below zero right now, it's probably 15 or 20 degrees out here, which is about as cold as we've been in quite a while. So, I'm gonna turn the bin fans on and push some cold air through the corn and soybeans we got stored here and let those run for a few days to really cool things down. It's kind of a shame because it's been so peaceful around here the last few weeks. One running, six more to go. Seven of the nine bin fans are running. The other ones aren't because they're empty. It's a lot more work walking through the snow than it is on solid ground. Got a couple new toys to unload later today as well. Things that come in handy in this type of weather. I guess one is a toy. This front one's a lot more for work, really. But first, it's time to hook this machine up. Ooh, good tune came on immediately, but due to copyright reasons, I can't let you guys hear it. So we're just going to silence this next clip and you're going to have to guess what it is. It's Ariana. We haven't hit two million yet. We're actually nowhere even close to two million. I, I think it's gonna be a while on it. So you're just gonna have to, you're gonna have to follow along for several years. Uh, I think I'll drop this bucket right about here next to this lovely oak tree. And now put the pusher on. Whoop. down oh yeah it's on there we're good I was looking at that gap wondering why that's there but the uh, spacers it sits on are in there it's locked in it's in up top all good now we just gotta get that thing out of the snow fall all the way down in there see that that's got to sit in there so I can lock it or I will have problems come on get in there I think it's in there Didge we'll see what we got no it's not I'll take it over to the shop it'll hang in there for that sometimes you just get it on flatter ground and it'll work out There, I think it's in. 
Yep. Just didn't like that ground. Took some creative wiggling, but I got it in. That's what she said. Let's see, that drives the, that drives the, that thing. And this guy's frozen enough, it's just gonna have to thaw for a bit. But first, since it's gonna get so cold out, I'm gonna put a little additive in the fuel because I don't have number one diesel here on the farm. So I'm gonna do this with one hand and my left arm on top of it. Because I'm also a camera guy. And that looked exactly like 14 ounces to me. Wasn't it, girls? Huh, what, Four, 14? Kind of seems like it's starting to snow again. The less snow I bring in, the less wet that shop floor ends up being. Fun fact for those of you who aren't aware, snow is actually just frozen water. It's really just zillions of tiny little ice crystals that form very small, unique, beautiful patterns that you can only see under a microscope or in Hallmark movies. You know, the ones where the guy chases the girl down like not not at, at an airport, not when she's about to get on an airplane, but when she's in that park in New York and there's carriage rides with horses and stuff and they're dressed like it's 50 degrees out, but it starts snowing. I should probably spend less time hiding in the house this time of year. Uh, before I put it in the shop, I'm gonna test the blade out just for a pass or two, because I gotta in, get in this shed anyway. I haven't done this for a while. And the ground may not even be totally froze underneath there. To watch her holding the camera. First pass seemed mostly successful. The snow isn't that deep, it's just it's it's deep enough I gotta move it or it'll be a problem. But at least it wasn't 35 degrees out when it came down, so it's not real heavy and thick and sticky. That stuff is not, is not fun. I just got a call. I gotta run to town quick. Family thing. I'll be back in an hour. So good timing actually, because this thing needs to thaw out anyway. Well, that was a lot more like three hours, but that's all right. Things should be thought out here now. I'm gonna get this PTO on. First thing I've gotta do that I forgot is to flip this because this has the 540 PTO, which takes the large splines. And this is the 1000, so I just gotta flip this. Oh, I'll get there. I'll get it done. Just maybe a bit. Oh, I'm in the wrong. I see what I'm doing. I see, I see. There we go, dummy. All right. Now we'll see if I can actually wrestle this thing on here. Oh, it hasn't thought out all the way, but. I'm gonna see if climbing inside here, if I can get enough leverage on it to get it up there. Fat guy in a small quick attach, quick hitch area. This would be a really unfortunate time for a leg cramp. Pull back and push forward at the same time. Simple design. Shouldn't be an issue for anybody. Taking a break. Oh, I can't even. It's not like I can even. I can't even. I'm gonna give that a minute to sit while I regain feeling in my lower back and upper leg area. And I'm gonna throw I don't know if I got any left in here with some chain lubricant on it. Slack in the chain, I would say, is about right. It looks plenty loose, but I think I want it there. 
Well, there isn't much of this left, so I'll file it away. And I think we got another one. Should have some more. Got another can. Let's just make things messy here. Make sure that chain is good. And probably wouldn't be a bad idea to throw some grease at it. Those bearings sit outside for several months without moving, so never a bad idea. I am using wheel bearing grease for these bearings and there's a very, very specific reason as to why. And it's of course because that's what was still in the grease gun from the last time I used it. Chain is lubed, bearings are greased, PTO is greased, gearbox is good, camera needed to be up a little bit. All that's left to do is to actually get the shaft thingy on the input shaft thingy so the thingamajigger can spin the whirly gig. Come on, work with me here. There is movement, there is movement. Just not nearly enough of it. Let's try this. Just get this thing off. Make sure it actually goes that far. Oh, Onyx. Yep. On the bench there, stop by the, stop behind you. There's a can of dry lube or dry spray. Don't put me on camera with a hat on. Don't get you on camera without a hat on? No. Well, they got you saying that. Well, whatever. <laughs> Are you embarrassed of your hair? Yeah. You just got a haircut last night. Well, I have, I just took my helmet off. Ugh. There's snow, but nowhere near enough. No, no. I can see that. There's, yeah. Like you find a spot in the ditch where it's like, ooh, two feet, and then you hit the gas, and then it's just, Exciting. Yeah. Just down on the grass right away. Yeah. Jeez, come on. Oh. Position hurts my back. Oh, come on. You mother. Okay, there's a big hammer on the floor in the tractor. Go get me that. We'll see if we can break something. I got it. It fell right on. Just took some spray lube and a hammer and a bunch of cursing and I might need a chiropractor, but other than that, pretty much just fell right on there. We're ready. And close. Back and forth, back and forth. You don't have to have watched this channel for too long to know that I don't particularly love moving snow. And it's not, like, I know it's gotta be done, it isn't difficult. I think that's why I don't like it, because it just feels like I'm wasting my time. I'm just pushing water around. To me, it's like mowing the lawn, but at least when you mow the lawn, the weather is nice. And when you mow the lawn, your yard looks awesome and everything just feels better. A nice, freshly mowed lawn is awesome. A yard where the snow is cleared is just still a yard in Minnesota in January. But it's gotta be done, and I don't wanna work in a cubicle in an office building. Not my style. We do have some snow to haul out here in a couple of weeks. So I'm gonna make sure I keep this area clear where the trucks come in and out. We don't have any that we're gonna be dumping in the pits. So we have no use for them, but we gotta keep that area clear so we can load out. Got a little bit of pushing done here, but I haven't actually started the blower itself yet. So here we go. Engage PTO. Pretty smooth. I'm getting down to bare gravel, but I'm not cutting into it, so that's good, because the sun will sort of melt the rest of the snow off of there then, and the gravel will freeze harder. So I like it. Got the main driveway going down, cleared out. Now I gotta do the yard, but I can only get so much interesting footage for you guys from sitting inside the tractor so let's see if i can figure out how to use this thing and do a time lapse as usual thank you to farmers business network for their continued support of this channel they help keep the videos going here so right now you can actually qualify for zero percent financing on inputs all season long throughout the entire growing season with just a few minimum spend qualifications
Now it's almost five o'clock at night and I've got a pretty good majority of the yard cleared out. It takes a long time to clear this yard, even, even when it's easy moving snow. I really want to just get this trailer unloaded tonight, so this is going to be my next thing. Picked up a snowmobile. Not because it snowed, I mean I ordered that in March. A little bit chilly. I'm going to attempt to get that snowmobile off using a set of extra long forks. At least that's how the dealership got it on there, but theirs were all padded nice and like perfectly set up to do that. So I'm gonna try and mimic that without damaging a new snowmobile. I'll go get the snowmobile extensions to put on here now, which I did put indoors this year because otherwise they end up under the snow and frozen to the ground and then I get upset with myself. We'll see if I can manhandle them out of here in two days. I get another cortisone shot in this shoulder. This arm is almost unusable at this point. I really hope these work. If they don't, I'm gonna be totally honest with you guys. My next plan would be just to fire it up and get it good and hot and, and jump it off the side of the trailer. Which I'm not afraid to do at all and I would put it on video for you, but this is probably safer if I can make this work. Not safer for myself physically, but safer for my ego because if I crash on video, I still have to post it. Well, no, you can't even see. Now all I gotta do is assess the damage that I caused. Zero, we're all good. All right, let's listen to her run. Or purr, as they say. We'll let that warm up, get these ramps down for this thing. So this right here is the new Polaris XD Extreme Duty 1500. This is the big son of a gun. This is the new one. This is completely different than any Ranger most of you have ever seen before. This is the one ton of Rangers. This thing is gonna do a lot of work. It is heavy duty, completely different drivetrain, completely different engine. It's cool. And I got it in the beautiful camouflage package. quieter too. Very quiet. Oh, I forgot to have the trailer hooked to something. Here we go. We're going for it. Nobody died. basically like a pickup, but a lot cooler because it's a Ranger. Now we'll park this thing. Cold. It wasn't froze down. Numb nuts here had the park brake on. I do not enjoy the sound of a fresh set of carbides coming across that gravel. I mentioned that we have some grain to haul and that it's gonna get really cold out. So I wanna get this third truck in the heated shed. It's got fuel additive in it. I've had it plugged in. I even, it wasn't dead, the battery was not dead, but I put the charger on it at a very low voltage all day just to, uh, just to make sure it's got plenty of juice to fire up here, so. Come on, baby. Plenty of juice. Well, that's a good thing. I'll let that warm up while I park that trailer out of the way. I've said it before and I'll say it again. This little $200 receiver hitch attachment is one of the best bangs for the buck out there on this farm. Not that 
two or three hundred bucks is a big investment for us, but for what it does, I mean, I use it all the time and it saves me so much time. That probably goes just for a skid loader in general, to be honest with you. I'm gonna put one more item in the heated shop before I bring the peat in, but first, fuel additive. We aren't gonna haul with this thing right now, we certainly aren't going to haul when it's 10 below, but when we do haul in a couple weeks, it is going to be cold and I want this stuff run through the system. And there was about 30 ounces in here, which is going to mix with the 120 gallons between the two tanks here. So it looks like I'm dumping all willy nilly, but I did actually have it planned out here. And I do have to mention it because there will be several guys that bring it up if I don't. I'm going to put thunder in the shop just so we do have some diesel that isn't all froze up. And this is red dyed diesel, so we can't run it in the semi trucks, but we'll run it in like the snow blower, the skid loader, the pressure washer, stuff like that. It's just nice to have some diesel available because otherwise we can't get our number two diesel out of the tank this time of year. And yeah, we could put number one in the tank, but it's not really worth it for us. This will easily get us through on what we do. We're not feeding livestock, so it makes a big difference for us. There, now that can melt off and cause a huge mess on the floor overnight. We do have the floor drains, but they don't work all that well. And the mistake we made was we did not put enough slope in the concrete in this building. I don't think we have too many regrets with the way that we built this building, but that is one of them. I mean, I think that's kind of it for the day anyway oh wrong switch there we go oh I am impressed by the heater in this thing steel drive transmission I got to see inside one when I went down for their test days it was uh it was different. I've never seen anything like that. I'm sure a lot of you guys have, but I had not. I'm gonna call it a night, at least with the camera anyway, but I did wanna let you guys know, if you aren't aware, you can check out our second channel called Between the Rows. We are actually gonna be heading down to Arizona in just a couple of days here, and I'm gonna be driving a late model for the first time, a dirt late model for the first time in six years. I got a lot of seat time in a late model for those who don't know, but I have not driven one in quite a while. I'm gonna be running one for Don Shaw down at Casa Grande, Casa Grande, Casa Grande, I don't know, Arizona, Central Arizona Raceway. If you guys can't make it, um, it's gonna be the 15th, 16th, 18th, 19th, and 20th, and then the following weekend after that. But you can check out the live stream at um, imca.tv or Speedsport TV. We're also gonna be bringing Onyx's car down there, so Onyx is gonna be racing with us, and we are gonna be doing some videos for the Between the Rows channel. A lot of shenanigans going on over there. So check that out, head over to Between the Rows. There is a link down below there. You can follow us on um, Instagram and Facebook as well. Between the Rows Racing, uh, you'll find it. But we would appreciate the follow. It's, uh, it's kind of fun. If you don't know anything about dirt track racing, head over, check it out. Otherwise, good night. Thanks for watching.